Aquarius, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you your reading, my love. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mars, and astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Aquarius, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. No gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have a pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Aquarius, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my love. I appreciate you, for sure. All right, let's get started with this energy. Let me tell you how it came in. First thing that came in was um, like a value or, or uh, what is it? Value, or depreciation. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know how they say you can buy a car like brand new and then as soon as you drive it off the lot, it depreciates. You know, it's no longer worth whatever it was that you purchased. That's, that's the energy that came in. I don't know if you're purchasing something or invested in something that's not appreciating it's depreciating the value so um a job or relationship whatever the case is um i don't think you're getting out of it what you put in, into it that's the point okay second thing that came in was um how can i say this uh the inability to return it it was more so like, hmm, sticking to the example of the car, right? You drive the car off the lot, it depreciates. So you've basically made an investment into something that is not going to ever give you a return. You know, not the return that you're putting in. It's not an even exchange. It's not an equal yoke, okay? Um, to take it a step further, Let's say if we're still sticking to this car, this car breaks down, this car needs maintenance, this car, um, you know, uh, still requires not only the money that you're paying for it, for your uh, car note, but now more money on top of the money that was spent. So in the beginning, the car was great. It's the car you wanted. You said, I don't care. I'm going to just pay because it's what I want. And I respect that. But now the car is not providing the service that you purchased it for, which is dependability. You know what I'm saying? To get from A to B. So it's like you're re-looking at this as a whole. Like, wait a minute now. This isn't working. It's not going to work. And I agree, Aquarius, but... The difference is that you still feel that this is what you want. It does that make sense? I hope I'm trying to paint a picture here. Let, let's go into the message. But that's how the energy came in. I was trying to give you an example as best I could. Aquarius energy, please and thank you. I just think that you're taking a second look at something and you're trying to, it's hard for you to kind of you know decipher like you know whether what you're going to do about the situation let's say it like that life is a mystery the bobcat is here you know is explore your options you know explore your options you sometimes we have lifelong dreams goals and desires um because out of like coveting because it's the only thing that we're exposed to, you know, um, until we go, in, until our boundaries are broaden and widen and we see other things and it's like, wow, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. So, you know, this car may have been your dream car from childhood, but you may not have known that there's actually another car that's actually just like it. It's better. It's more dependable uh, and it costs less that kind of thing. But you're gonna to have to explore in order to you know, get that information because in a minute, 
I think that life is just getting ready to start doing a whirlwind in your energy. You have the antelope coming in. This is life speeding up, but you're supposed to be in the lead. And when the bell goes off and everything takes run, everybody starts running, you're supposed to be in front. And how are you going to be in front when your car broke? Think on your feet, quick thinking, the fox. It's going to be quick decisions. You know, you're going to have to think on your feet. Know that God has your back with the eagle, okay? This transformation is coming in and it's inevitable. And it's going to require the shedding of some skin, the shedding of some energy. You know, death energy requires death uh, because it's opening and welcoming rebirth. Transformation. Uh, requires death or the transforming of something, you know, something completely changing into another. That's transformation energy. You can say it how you want, but that's what's coming. And I think life is trying to prepare you for this so that you're ahead of it and you're getting all that you're supposed to get out of this blessing because it's supposed to be for you, not against you. And I don't want you to see it as a punishment as to say, uh, with this car, because it's your dream car. You know what I mean? Let's do your spread. We're doing your spread with light seers. No. Okay. We're doing your spread with Ryder. Okay. We're going back to basics. Amen. Sometimes you gotta go back to the, what you know. It's all right with me. Aquarius energy, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Aquarius, there it is. Oh, excuse me, my nose went crazy. Uh, world energy. Yep. World energy is coming in here. This is a cycle completing. Uh, making way for this new beginning. The world energy is the final, actually, major arcana of the tarot. It represents closure, closing of a cycle. It re also represents movement, maybe travel or uh, movement, moving from one place to another, okay? And you're you're ready to do this. The two of wands is here, but your intuition is tweaking. I'm telling you, you're getting information under uh you know from the most high from your angels from your ancestors regarding this process and i think it's to let you know number one you need to get ahead of something before it takes off because you're supposed to be in front of it and i think that it's going to require for you to shed something that you don't want to let go of crown this energy please for aquarius please and thank you okay high priestess again and there's you walking away the see the angels are telling you you know you know you're being told to leave something behind that it has to change it has to die it's reached see the thing about the eight of cups it's reached the highest potential that it's capable of that's the thing with the Eight of Cups. So we feel bad sometimes walking away from it because there is blood, sweat, years, and tears in these cups. But it has reached its uh, potential. It can never make it to 10. And it seems that your assignment or destiny or desire is for more, okay? And that's what you're being led to go for but the more, the closer you get to that understanding and the closer you get to that goal, you're seeing this closure. It's like you have to go through this world energy to start that new life. And that's what you're trying not to do. You don't want to do that. You want the new life here, but it's the world is required that something has to close out to begin the new. All right. Let's see what's working against you. What's in the way for Aquarius? Please and thank you. 
What's working against Aquarius right now? What's in the way? The Six of Pentacles and the Devil. So let's talk about potential. If this is a relationship, you could say that this person does the best that they can. You know, this person uh, helps me with this and that. And I'm not going to ignore that. And I'm not going to disregard that. You know, um, maybe this person helped me when I was down. You know, things like that. But it's a toxic like devotion or obligation with this devil energy because it's being used to bind you and to hold you down and back. It's almost as if help is hurting in this energy. That's what this feels like. Uh, it's like maybe something helped you through and now it hurts, but it's the same something that helped. How can I say that? Am, am I saying it right? I think I'm saying it right. Something helped you through a period in life. And the, if you ever find, oh gosh, you ever hear somebody say what made me fall in love with you was the reason I hate you kind of thing, you know, something helped you through a storm and that same something is now the same something that's holding you back. It was supposed to be a season and I think you held on for the long haul and I don't think it was meant to be. I'm not going to kid you. I love you guys. I, we, you know, we talking here. Okay especially if it's a Capricorn. I have to say that with the Six of Pentacles. If it's a Capricorn, this Capricorn is just breadcrumbing, you know, either you or uh, taking niblets off of you so that you're never full. You know what I mean? Always eating off your plate, so to speak. Where is this coming from? For Aquarius. What brought this on? Past energy, please. Past energy, please. Thank you. The King of Cups. Nice. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Guys, you have really been, like, even with this High Priestess, I think what honestly got this ball rolling in you is you've mastered that emotional control. And Shamalama Ding Dong. You know what I'm saying? The, the mastering of your emotions, it kind of sparked a whole bunch of uh, spiritual uh, elevation, you know, because you're already logical naturally because you're an air sign, you know? But when you mastered the emotions, what it did was allow you to think clearly so that you can meditate and pray and receive clearly. And now the message is step on out into the world and do your damn thing. Life is a mystery. Again, exploring, you know, the cats sniff around, they explore, they explore. And that's kind of what your energy is leading towards. But this energy here is just nickel and diming you to death, you know, and, and you're carrying it because I feel a sense of obligation or devotion Justice even coming in here with the King of Cups. You found balance by way of truth. You started being true to yourself. You found this balance, Libra energy, and it assisted you with emotional control. I'm telling you, this nickel and diamond has to stop because it's doing nothing but um, uh, keeping you from your full potential, okay? Future energy, please, for Aquarius. Where are we going with, hello? Ooh, five of swords. And the nine of pentacles. Here we go. You know, five of swords energy is jealous. It's envy. It's mind games. It's um, nah, 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 nah. You, you know what I mean? It's very petty. And I think it's because of something you're letting go of. This person or this job whatever the case is that you know either way you're abundant uh, you know that's just what it is you're abundant as an independent and whether somebody 
is jealous or not, it doesn't change the fact that you're abundant, that you're stable, that you're intuitive, that you know what's going on. And they may not, you know, like that. This may be even a past life connection that you have, but what you have to admit that no matter what the emotional tie is, uh, you've always had to uh, go through a storm and then find a way to protect your peace from foolishness with this connection, whatever this connection is, this devil and six of pentacles is to you. You understand? You've always had to eventually uh, protect yourself, protect your peace, protect your goods, your finances, whatever is abundance to you. All right. And then it's like, OK, I'm happy now that I got that um, hidden and protected. Now I'm happy. You found success in that with the six of wands. All right. You made these connections. But the message today has shifted. I'm telling you. For you to move a little further and a little passionately and a, a little more forward, you know, and you're thinking about this four of swords with this contemplation and you're trying to figure out how do like do I continue to invest in this do I just let this go and you know move on but you want this happy and you can't deny what God is showing you right now the lights are on you can't unsee what you're seeing you can't unfeel what you're feeling you know you can't unknow what you know and right now with that high priestess sitting over top of your energy, you know. You can't unknow what you know, baby. So it's confusing. Seven of Cups. Okay? It's confusing. <sighs> Libra energy here with justice and this five of pentacles. Again, the eight of cups coming back. Guys, the right thing to do is the right thing to do. That's how you figure out what to do. You know, um, the right thing to do, what's honest, what's fair to you, for you, for your growth and development, that's the right thing to do. Now, someone may feel left out in the cold. They may feel abandoned because you're walking away, you know, but you're not walking away. You're walking towards. That's the difference. And for you, this has been a very slow process. This has been going on. It looks like at least about five years. I ain't gonna lie. I love you, but we talking, okay? So this is year six here, maybe, and you can't deny. You can't deny it anymore. Growth is. It's. It's just. It's been assigned to you. I, I'm. You know. I, I don't know how else to say this, guys. Growth has been assigned to you, and you. I think been dragging your feet. Um, and telling yourself that it was for dedication, devotion, obligation, or love, you know, but this growth can't no longer be denied. The assignment has been like there, you have a, uh, pay, um, you have an, uh, how can I say that? Help me with my words. Um, you have a position of power that's awaiting you. Okay. Care of fine energy. This is growth. This is the bishop, the priest, the, the the teacher, you know, the matriarch of the family. You have a position of power that's awaiting you. So you have to, these shoes are, you're going to fill, okay? And that stresses you out and you're trying to get away from it because you really just want to do your own thing. I ain't going to lie. You want to do your own thing, you know? And that's what you've been doing, your own thing. Um, those of you that are walking away from love, you have a new love walking towards you, a new love of self, as well as a new love connection, okay? They might actually have a confrontation with each other, the old and the new. I ain't gonna lie. But definitely new love, okay? This confrontation don't have nothing to do with you. Um, it is what it is. Aquarius, you know who you are. Come on now. All right? It is what it is. Uh, right now, your thing is, I don't want nobody to get hurt. Okay? I want the best for everybody. Three of swords, three of wands. All right? But for some of you, y'all been the one stepping out. So the side piece might meet the main piece. I ain't gonna lie. We talking. Okay? 
So you're saying, you know, I'm, I want this over. You, that's what you're trying to manifest, an ending that's positive. You're, you're trying to manifest a positive ending, for those of you that have been uh, dipping and dabbing them with a third party and you want to act like you don't see it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what it is. I love you. We talking. Okay? Other than that, um, some of you are saying that old life, you know, like you said, that you know, you can do old relationship, old life, old job, whatever, whatever was giving you pain. Okay. You're saying, I know that God is going to release me and save me and put it into all of this. Okay. But you're denying yourself more of the truth of that situation. You're trying to pull it all in manifestation but you're going to have to see that you have options in front of you that you really just don't want to see. In order for you to see that, though, you would have to take this blindfold off and go exploring so that you can find a new place that heals, you know, that covers, that assists this temperance angel and change your perspective on what a new beginning actually looks like because it's already set in stone in your head what it's supposed to look like. And you're standing on that. And I'm telling you, it's, it doesn't look that way. It's different. Okay? Oof. All right, Aquarius. Y'all came in kind of heavy today, baby. We're going to leave this here. If any event you said green eyes, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm okay with that. Check your moon arising this time. All right? Don't take the energy with you if it's not for you. Leave it here for another Aquarius. Everybody thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you guys are notified, excuse me, of future readings. It's free and it supports the channel, okay? Um, if you're interested in more content, I do post daily at Boomstick Level Energy. Lots and lots of content there, all bunch of stuff going on. So definitely jump on board, okay? Other than that, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.